Hello everyone, this is Sci Soldier here. Welcome back to our Let's Play Dominions 4, Lanka, Dawn of the Demon Apes. It is now early spring in year 7 of the Ascension Wars. And we have cast Revive Bane a few times here. Uh, looks like we've had a battle in Valadin. Apparently, Zabalba sent uh, some ghouls against us with one of their spells. Uh, we had some proclamations by Zabalba and Abyssia, and we've captured a pretty good amount of blood slaves there, actually. Um, we had a battle in Aeneamrul. Uh, looks like we have taken this province from Zabalba. And we had a battle in Numecria. Once again, we've taken another province from Zabalba. Uh, we've had a battle in the White Forest. Uh, we've taken a province and raised one of their temples. And... Holy crap, we lost that one. Uh... Our forces were beaten by the defending forces of Zabalba. Uh, but we actually killed quite a few of their troops, though. Um... Not many of our own made it out alive. That was their... Oh, they had their Master Lich there. Let's actually take a look at that. This one could be quite interesting to watch. I want to see exactly what their Master Lich has on him. He is a Death 7, Blood 4, Water 3. Hmm. What is his name? Anakaloth. He's casting Ray's Dead there. Okay. Uh, overall... He doesn't have anything terribly great here. Uh, we've split our forces up tremendously, so... We didn't really have a whole lot of troops here to, uh, you know, actually fight with. I'm guessing it was probably this, uh, Master Lich that made the difference. Let's speed things up here a bit. Kind of see what happens. We've already pretty much eliminated most of his bat people. He is summoning quite a few dead, though. And I'm guessing he can keep that up quite some time without getting all that uh, fatigued. This is a pretty good battle here, though. Uh, mostly, what he's really got going for him is... Yeah, it's that, uh... Master Lich. Since he's got such high death magic, he's able to... Continually... Raise the dead. And he's casting Leeching Darkness that... Yeah. I was thinking that Leeching Darkness actually didn't hurt. I don't think... Oh yeah, it is hurting our... Uh, our troops. Hmm. I was thinking that Leeching Darkness did not damage, uh... Undead. I thought it was... Something that only killed the living troops. Apparently that's not the case. So we had a battle in Muspil here. Our forces were beaten by the defending forces. Uh... What the heck is...
going on here? All right. I've got a uh, one of my friends on Steam just gave me a uh, a free game. That's kind of cool. All right. I'll have to reply to him later on after I finish recording here. Oh. Kind of seems to me like I should have won this battle here, but I guess he's got enough uh, priests here banishing that that's uh, causing us a bit of a problem. Anyways, we had a battle in the Farron Mountains, and so we've taken another one of the provinces from Zabalba. We're still getting struck by lightning. Had some unexpected events. People are leaving. Found a magic site in the Dian Range. Let's see, what is that? I think it's probably just that. Well, it could have been the Garden of Frozen Flowers. And we have sorceresses here now. Maybe that's actually the magic site. I don't know. We need a lab, though. But, uh, that's kind of an interesting find. We also have a chance of getting a sorceress that has some water magic, too. Let's go ahead and send one of our mages over there so they can build a laboratory there. Okay. Let's go ahead and move them on up there. Throw some province defense in there. I guess. What do we have in here? Huh. Let's send uh, one of these guys back here, I guess. And... But yeah, I'm moving him back there. The rest of these guys, we're going to send up there to pick up some more. And... Yes, that'll work. We're going to work on moving him back there to pick up some more troops. Okay. Do I have any... Okay, I have one ivory bow. I guess I'll take that. We'll give him... A lifelong protection contract as well. Give him a lifelong protection contract and... Yeah, why not? We'll give him the... Uh, the Banefire Scepter there. And let's give him a... A lifelong protection contract. So we'll go ahead and assign some troops to these guys. Okay, so he's got that, uh, ivory bow or whatever you call it. We're going to fire and keep distance at the closest enemy. And he's got that Banefire Scepter, so he's going to cast a spell Banefire. 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 
Banefire, and then cast spells, which is just going to be Banefire because that's the only thing he knows. So, get them all in line formation and move them up. Crap, I don't want these Mercado monkeys. Okay. Apparently those are the only guys I've got that I can actually move forward. So we'll progress with them. It looks like I'm moving three guys back up there. He's actually sieging that province. Uh, <laughs> I'm besieging the province with one little bane. Uh, no, let's... For a second I thought that was one of my provinces, but uh, that the enemy was besieging it. But no, that's not the case at all. Uh... That's just a few Mound Kings and some Archers. That's Moose Peel here. What did I send against Moose Peel here? Uh, I sent 176. And we ended up losing, because he's got... I guess some pretty darn good priests, apparently. I don't want to send this one little... Uh, guy here. Although... If I set him in the back, and just order him to retreat, he should actually retreat to that province. Uh, which amusingly enough is a way to uh, get him to move two provinces in a single turn. It would actually speed up his return trip home. If that works, yeah, I'm just kind of guessing that it will. Let's forge some more lifelong protection contracts. That'll be good. And... Actually, let's equip her with this, uh... Manual of Crossbreeding. I'm still not quite up to the level where I can cast Improved Crossbreeding. Once I get that, I might try that out. Uh, but we need a bit more still. Let's go ahead and Throw that in the laboratory. And we'll give it to Psy here. Let's see what he can forge for us. He can actually forge that Scepter of Dark Regency now. And a number of other things here as well. Uh, the Sun Slayer is a, another kind of nice item. Area Death. Does not affect undead beings. Hmm. Alright, we'll go ahead and forge that Scepter of Dark Regency. And let's have him reanimating, I guess. Let's have these guys reanimate too. And he can research. I've got uh, him moving over here so he can 
build something where we've discovered that we can recruit sorceresses. I'll have him research. And he can research. Let's go ahead and move him on down there. They might be able to cast Arcane Probing a few more times from here. Yeah, they can. So we've got these guys moving back down towards here so we can pick up some more long dead for them. And we are going to take over this province here with the uh, throne. At least that is the plan anyways. We're moving the priest down there so he can construct a temple there. So you've got temples all the way up here, all through here, except for right there. So we just lack one there, there, and then down here towards Zibalba. So we don't actually lack a whole lot from finishing Zibalba off, really. I think we should have that done before too terribly long here. Let's have her reanimate, I guess. Is there anyone else just sitting here? I guess that's it. Okay, so we have guys moving in to get some reinforcements. Still got to. Uh, Pretty good amount of long dead in the garrison there to fill up these guys that are incoming. And I can actually stand to forge a few more magic items as well, to be honest. Uh, Huh. I'm just thinking I would actually kind of like to teleport our pretender down to here. And that way he'll be there already when we complete that next level of blood research. And our pretender can go ahead and summon some of those Devanas or whatever. They're called. But we'll have two turns to go before we finish our research in blood magic anyways. So. Oh, she is not doing anything. I guess we'll research with her. Okay, excellent. We're going to go ahead and end our turn, I believe. We are doing our unique item forging. We're forging some more lifelong protection contracts. Overall, I think we're pretty much good to go. So, yeah, we'll end our turn and we'll end the video here as well. So, as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And we will see you again soon. Thank you very much.